Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course today we're going to be looking at artificial transmutation. Artificial trans, okay, that's transmutation. Okay, so do not forget to, as usual, like this video, do not forget to uh, subscribe to this channel and do not forget to keep sharing these videos to your friends, to your loved ones, to your class group, to your Facebook groups, where what people are preparing for jam or YAC examination. All right, and of course, uh, this tutorial is brought to you by OT School Jam. After see a question from the app concerning artificial transmutation. They say, uh, this is a 2023 question number 25. It says, say, which of the following is an example of artificial transmutation? Which of the following is an example of artificial transmutation? A said, uranium-238 decaying, decaying to thorium-234. B, carbon-14 decaying to nitrogen-14. C said, bombarding nitrogen-14 with a neutron to produce carbon-14. DC potassium 40 decaying to argon 40. Okay, so we're going to come back to this question. Okay, at the end of the class, not before, because I want we will always leave the questions for the world for the last to what uh, make us what understand how to answer questions, okay, on that what a particular topic or subtopic. All right, so uh let's begin with artificial transportation but please go and get the o3 school jump up it is all you need to succeed in your exam has all the past questions so you do not need to go and bypass questions outside also it has what uh, a classroom feature that has lecture notes structured according to the jump syllabus so there's no need to be carrying big big test book up and down then likewise we have the question search feature where you can search for question according to topics and then you have the UTM mock challenge every saturday okay you compete with your mates thousands of other students you win amazing prizes all right get you to jump past and likely exam questions and what's more is that what you see your score release every saturday so it helps you to track your progress and then of course build your confidence toward the main exam all this are more for just a little fee so please go to uh the play store immediately and download the application and start practicing your way to success so this is our artificial transmutation artificial transmutation all right and uh we have I uh, give giving a hint in the last episode. All right, when we said that was the artificial world transportation was what first described by a, a British physicist Ernest Rutherford. Okay, it was first described by a British physicist Ernest was Rutherford. All right, and artificial transportation simply means artificial radioactivity. It simply means what artificial radioactivity. Okay, artificial word transmutation simply means what artificial radioactivity. It is the what? It is the induced, it is the induced, induced. Okay, it is what the emission that is what induced. It is what uh, it is caused by or by bombardment, okay, of a nucleus, okay, with particles. Okay, so you say what it is what induced emission, induced emission of radiation. Okay, we say that what artificial transportation is the what induced emission of radiations of radiation. Okay, by a nucleus. Okay, it is the induced emission of radiation by a nucleus, by a nucleus, okay, and its change and the change of that nucleus or the transmutation. Transmutation means change, okay? And the change or transmutation of that word nucleus into what? Another what? Another nucleus. Another nucleus. Okay, so this is what art, uh, artificial transmutation is about. It is what? The induced emission of radiation by a nucleus and its change or transmutation into what? Another what? Nucleus. It's as simple as A, B, C. That is what, what artificial transmutation is. Okay, it is what? Gotten by what? Uh, by bombarding what? A nucleus with what? With particles. Okay, and it's ch and the change of that nucleus into what? Another what? Nucleus. Okay, so and the shooter four was able to change the what the nucleus of nitrogen into what oxygen by bombarding what the nucleus of what nitrogen with alpha particles okay let us see that that is our uh, initial form all right it changed what nitrogen nucleus nitrogen nucleus into what oxygen nucleus you must take note of that okay it changed what nitrogen nucleus into what oxygen nucleus so we have what nitrogen uh, 14, 7, nitrogen, then plus what? Alpha particle, 
All right, then that will give us what oxygen 17 8 then plus uh a proton. Okay, so uh with the release of what of a proton. This is a proton, an isotope of hydrogen. All right, so it was able to, to, to bombard what the nucleus of what of nitrogen with a, with alpha particle and it gave us what oxygen and what and uh and a proton. Okay, now also when a neutron in a nucleus changes to a proton. When the neutron, neutron in the nucleus changes to proton, okay. When the nucleus, when when the neutron in the what in the nucleus changes to what to protons, the change that occurs in the nucleus can be represented by this, okay. When the nucleus, when the neutron in a nucleus changes to proton, the change that of course can be represented with this what uh equation so i'm going to have what uh your neutron this is neutron changing to proton so i'm going to have one zero neutron then plus of course uh okay no it's changing now to proton i'm going to have it equals to what proton one one then plus what e uh, zero minus one all right so this is what the change that of course okay when a what neutron changes to a proton okay when a neut neutron changes to a proton in a nucleus this is what this is how it is presented. This is a neutron changing to a proton in the nucleus of what of the atom. Okay, so now what do you observe? You observe that what beta what emission. This is what beta emission. This is this one. This one here is what is beta what particle. Okay, or what beta what emission. All right. This means that what when a neutron in the nucleus what changes to a proton. Okay, it is the same as what as beta what emission. All right, it is the same as what as beta what emission. All right, as you see that what that what a beta particle is what is what is formed. All right, that means that what when proton is what is produced. Okay, beta particle is what is emitted. Okay, when what proton what is produced, beta particle is what is emitted, and that is why that is why no wonder you what if you notice that what that what it always leads whenever beta particle is what is emitted, it always leads to an increase in the nuclear charge okay it's, it's always leads to an increase in the nuclear charge that's why you see that well, the nuclear charge from zero changes to what to one because what protons are what are produced by what by beta what particles they are produced by what by beta what emissions okay so it is not what it is not far-fetched at all okay so now i've known that also it is still necessary to know that if the reverse is if the reverse happens Okay, that means when what a proton changes to a neutron, this one is a neutron changing to a proton now, that if the reverse happens, when a proton were to change to a neutron, okay, let us see the reaction. Okay, so having a proton P11 changing to a neutron, 10, and then plus, this is what we have, or this side is represented, though. I'm going to have E0 plus 1, okay? So this E0 plus 1 is what? It's also what a beta, it's a beta emission, okay? It's a beta particle or emission, all right? But it is called positron or electron, okay? It's called what? Positron, okay? Positron, P-O-S-I-T-R-O-O-N, okay? So when what protons, okay, changes to neutron, okay? It releases what? What to call what? Positron, okay? It produces what to call Positron. So uh, the beta particle electron emitted here is positively charged, as you can see. The beta particle here is negatively charged when neutron changes to a proton, but the beta particle here is what is positively charged when a proton changes what to neutron. Okay, so which is called, of course, as we have seen, the positron. All right. So it does positron emission of course when converting a proton to a neutron in a what in a nucleus. Okay, that is all about what. Uh, artificial transmutation. It means the bombardment of what of the nucleus, okay, of a nucleus, all right, and it's changed by a particle rather. It is bombarded of bombardment of a nucleus by a what by a particle and it's change or transmutation into another what nucleus, as you saw what in the case of nitrogen becoming what oxygen. Okay, so that is that for that. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the old school jump up and take that question and we'll be done with this class. This class is supposed to be very short. So please do not forget to like the video, like, subscribe and comment. So let's see. Uh, it says, which of the following is an example? 2023 number 25. Which of the following is an example of artificial transmutation? A say uranium 238 decaying to thorium 234. No. B say carbon 14 decaying to nitrogen 14. No. C say bombarding nitrogen 14 with a neutron. 
Okay, you bombard okay with a particle to produce what carbon fourteen, which is very correct. See, this is potassium fourteen decaying to argon fourteen. Alright, so the correct answer there will be option C. Okay, so these are many more questions are on the old school jump up. Download the app, activate, start practicing your way to success. Like, comment, and subscribe. Your grand commander says goodbye. See you in the next episode.